here's my new radio, uh, KX3. I run generally 10 watts, unless I'm running CW or digital. I haven't run digital yet. It's a KX3. Um, having problems with my plug. It uh, I plugged it into that power supply back there, and it didn't work. Plugged it into this one, and it works. Somewhere in that plug there is it's not agreeing with that plug over there, but it works with the battery. That's what I'm. That's what it's generally for anyway. Power supply back there. I'll be running a bunch of other radios. Box of paper. Um, then I've got the my shack computer is a Raspberry Pi 3. We got a Raspberry Pi 4, but it just it wouldn't connect with my internet that well. But that one is, so it gets running. There's my 12 volt uh, traveling RCA computer, and uh, I got that keyboard right now because. I've got a Bluetooth keyboard, a little bitty one. Actually, it's right there that I can use. Yeah, the shack's in this. But, uh, anyway, there's my, how I've got my power into my station. There's my heating system. <laughs> it's my lamp right now. It's Coca Cola Click. Is it still running on time? Yeah, it looks like it. But I've got the radio set for uh, international time. That way I can just log it as it goes. The batteries inside are pretty dead. They're alkaline. And I need to get some rechargeable batteries. But for now, I'm running on a 15 amp hour uh, BioNO. Hang on. Let's go ahead and flip it. There we go. No advertisement, but that sucker works real good. That should give me about five, six days of power for this radio. But anyway, let's see how this video sounds. Enter the new radio. It's my new KX3, new to me, new. Got it hooked up to Chameleon MCOM. Oddly enough, it tuned better when it was. Let's see if I can get this guy. <sighs> Kilo Echo 5, Echo Sierra. W6DYL, this is Kilo Echo 5 Echo Sierra. I'm taking a note. Right, here's how you punch in a frequency. Enter. One. Four. Point. Two. Two. Five. And ta da! Yep, I know. 